Hello and welcome to the Edu Leaders show on the Edu Bulletin where we bring you the latest insights and trends from the world of education. I'm Daisy and I'm excited to guide you through this episode. We have an esteemed guest joining us, Rotarian Manpreet Singh, Ambassador of Indian Knowledge Systems at the Ministry of Education, Government of India, Brand Ambassador for the Anuvadini Foundation and President of the Indian Chamber of International Business focused on preserving and redocumenting India's ancient heritage in fields such as metallurgy, astronomy and Ayurveda. He stressed the need to integrate this knowledge into the current educational curriculum. Now, let's move directly into our interview. Over to you, Rumani. Let's hear what Rotarian Manpreet Singh had to say. Good morning ladies and gentlemen. Today we have with us a very special guest. He is the chief guest of our event. He is Mr. Manpreet Singh Rotarian Ambassador Indian Knowledge System Ministry of Education Government of India, Brand Ambassador Anuvadini Foundation Ministry of Education, President Indian Chamber of International Business. So welcome to the summit sir and how's your experience being here? Thank you so much. It's a pleasure to be uh, part of the event. Uh, a lot of learning from me also uh, to meet all these educators, these principals, the networking. Uh, it is something that you know we also aspire to interact with, to take a feedback from on the ground and what is really happening, what are the changes that need to be done, uh, what are the things that need to be, to be taken up, mm -hmm. how we can help uh, the educational organizations, the schools, mm -hmm. and so it's been a lovely experience so far, mm -hmm. and I really hope that uh, my presence has added value to the event. Definitely, sir. We really cherish your presence, and your, we are blessed to have you with us here. So first of all, uh, I would like to know about you know the Indian knowledge system. What are the core elements, and how it is beneficial for the uh, young learners? So if you can you know shed some light. Thank you so much. Uh, so the Indian knowledge systems uh, is a special division that was created to ensure that we get back our heritage. We ensure that we create content out of that. We make sure that our young learners, our children know what our heritage and history has been about. And by history, I don't mean the last two, three, five hundred years. Thousands of years of Indian culture and heritage that we have been missing and we have lost the documentation over centuries. A lot of invaders came to India. A lot of content was destroyed, like Nalanda University was burnt and a lot of content was lost. So this is the initiative where we are creating uh, the documentation again, we are doing the research all over again, we are trying to find out how uh, we can bring back our uh, heritage of metallurgy, astronomy, astrology, mm -hmm. mathematics, mm -hmm. how the way of life, Ayurveda. Mm -hmm. So a lot of such things we are trying to bring back, redocument, mm -hmm. and uh, the government and the Ministry of Education uh, under the IKS division mm -hmm. is bringing out a lot of grants and support systems, mm -hmm. uh, creating a lot of content, mm -hmm. uh, doing a lot of events where these things are being told to educators to implement that under NEP 2020. Mm -hmm. And this is what is going back to the system, to the mm -hmm. people, where we will get back the lost space that we have in this world, mm -hmm. where we have given a lot of things. Mm -hmm. And we uh, believe that uh, things like shipping, maritime, we used to be uh, about 30% of the world trade once upon a time. Mm -hmm. We are less than 3% now. Mm -hmm. So there is a lot of scope. So such things were uh, helpful because we had the best technology mm -hmm. in those years which we have lost. So uh, under IKS, we are bringing back this documentation. We are bringing back this to the mainstream mm -hmm. of what was basically taken away from us. Right. So I think the young learners, when we start in the school, when we tell them th what we had and you know, it is not hearsay, it is not mythology, it is history. That's right. the basic difference. Mm -hmm. And we have just lost touch and we are trying to find everything back again. Mm -hmm. And it is these children who will become the future of tomorrow. Absolutely, sir. So how can you know it can be inculcated in the you know existing curriculum so that you know learners can benefit from it? Any you know your thoughts or uh, any advice you can give to the you know educators of today? Uh, the biggest thing that we have to learn today is about collaboration. And when you talk about collaborations, it is not mm -hmm. just between uh, organizations, but it is between educators. Right. You know, uh, schools can come together, institutes mm -hmm. can come together, they can do things commonly. Mm -hmm. They can have uh, like cultural exchanges. Uh, we've been always having these um, uh, 
डांस कॉम्पिटिशन स्पोर्ट्स कॉम्पिटिशन सो वाई नॉट वी हैव कॉम्पिटिशन ऑन आयुर्वेदा एस्ट्रोलॉजी Uh, anything similar you know why can't we bring uh, this inculcate this in our children mm-hmm. so it is the educator's responsibility it is the school's responsibility this freedom has been given in neb 2020 and this is what uh, the accreditations are also being given for uh, nac is putting a lot of uh, weightage on this uh, the school curriculum is there's in freedom now given in schools and colleges that you can create content mm-hmm. you can put it out to these children so you can actually take benefit of all that this mm-hmm. can be a differentiator for the uh, school also mm-hmm. how they can also get better students more students yeah. and ensure that you know we bring value in our uh, children yeah. so i think this is uh, the real implementation will mm-hmm. depend on the actual educator on the management of the schools and colleges and i think the young learner is mm-hmm. uh, what we are really looking at and that is what our future is Okay, so better we start early <laughs> so um, uh, my last question to you is how can you know schools ensure that you know the integration of technology like ai and ai and vr in classroom enhances learning outcomes you know without widening the digital gap between students so your thoughts on this uh you know this is something that is very important mm-hmm. i will give you my own personal example like yeah. computers came to india commercially i think in 84 83 uh, mm-hmm. and in 1985 when my school there was a computer lab and we were being taught on basic systems so uh and because of that i think when in imagine in the mid 80s if india did that mm-hmm. we are an it superpower today and if now we work on similar ways uh, mm-hmm. with the young educators in uh, third grade fourth grade fifth grade and we bring ai ml to them we show them the strength of what content creation can do not just be a content consumer content right. creator mm-hmm. use how uh, the artificial intelligence work how machine learning works right. if we can put this in their brains at that stage mm-hmm. i think by the time they graduate mm-hmm. india would be an ai superpower and much more than that because uh, see where we have reached today if in 80s we were doing that and today we are world leaders if now we adopt as an early learner mm. i think there is a huge possibility for the rest of the world to learn from india then right absolutely sir thank you so much for sharing your views and it was an absolute pleasure to have you with us and i hope with the you know educators like you the world is really going to change thank you so much sir thank you so much it's a pleasure to be with you thank, thank you so much Thank you for joining us for this enlightening discussion. We hope you found it as insightful and inspiring as we did. Save 8534845670 and send hi on WhatsApp for updates on the Eduleaders show featuring inspiring interviews from the education sector.